Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we will be studying the attachments on the ilium bone of the hip. So, since the ilium bone has a lot of attachments and it can get quite confusing, hence I've come up with an easier way to memorize it all. We divide the ilium into three parts to learn the attachments. And each of the three parts, I will give you mnemonics to remember the attachments. Let's begin with the iliac crest. It is necessary to know that the iliac crest is the upper end divided into an anterior two-thirds and a posterior one-third. The anterior two-thirds of the ileum consists of an outer lip, an intermediate area and an inner lip in its entirety. The posterior part of your iliac crest consists of a lateral slope and a medial slope. Apart from this, there is a tubercle that lies on the iliac crest which lies 5 cm posterior to the anterior superior iliac spine on the outer lip. These are some important things that you should know. Now let's talk about the attachments of the iliac crest. So let's suppose this is the iliac crest. The iliac crest, if you view it from the outside, if someone's viewing it from the outer surface, you'll notice that the iliac crest is convex at first and then it becomes concave. So similarly, I have drawn it for you. The mnemonics for iliac crest attachments are the sit in the beginning. You sit after which you exit over here. And finally, from behind in front, you apply gel. So how does this work? Sit means at the anterior superior iliac spine, on the anterior border of your iliac crest, anterior, the most anterior end, lies the SIT. S stands for the origin of sartorius muscle, the I stands for the inguinal ligament, lateral end and finally the T stands for the tensor fascia lata. Hence sartorius inguinal ligament and tensor fascia lata. After this let's take the exit and come a little behind the anterior part of your iliac crest. The EX stands for the external oblique muscle which will be inserted here. Then we have the internal oblique which is going to originate from here. And finally the transversus abdominis. Apart from this you need to know that outside part will have the fascia lata and on the inside is the fascia transversalis. And finally let's apply the gel. The GE are going to be behind, LL are going to be a little in front. Let's talk about the LL. The L that lies on the outer surface, outer part, is the latissimus dorsi that we studied in the upper limb. And the L that lies inside is the lumborum, also known as the quadratus lumborum muscle that lies on the inner side of the iliac crest. And finally, the G, which is the gluteus maximus, and E, the erector spinae muscle. So overall, now we know that the iliac crest attachments include the sartorius inguinal ligament, the tensor fascia lata, the fascia lata, the external oblique, the internal oblique, and the transversus abdominis and the fascia transversalis. Even further back is the latissimus dorsi and the quadratus lumborum. And finally, from the lateral and medial slope are the origins of the gluteus maximus and the erector spinae. Now let's talk about the inner surface of your ileum bone. The inner surface, as I mentioned earlier, is divided into two surfaces. This is the iliac fossa and this is the sacropelvic surface consisting of the iliac tuberosity, the auricular surface and preauricular surface. In the case of the inner surface, the mnemonic to remember is the I sip. I will sip by I, iliacus attachment will be right in the iliac fossa. Sip is in the back. The SIE stands for the sacroiliac ligament. As you all know that the sacrum is going to be forming a joint over here, the sacroiliac joint. Hence, the ligament, sacroiliac ligaments are going to be attached over here. So, in the iliac tuberosity lies the posterior and interosseous sacroiliac ligament, while in the auricular surface lies the anterior sacroiliac ligament. And finally, in the preauricular surface or the upper part of the greater sciatic notch is the muscle called the piriformis. Now, let's talk about the outer surface or the gluteal surface of the ileum. Now the outer surface or gluteal surface of the ileum is mnemonic 
is going to stand as GMRF. You can remember GMRF or you can remember the GM cube RF. First, we have to divide the gluteal surface into three parts via the anterior, posterior, inferior gluteal lines. Let's begin with the posterior gluteal line first. As you all know, greater shattuck notch is here, hence this is the posterior side. The posterior gluteal line begins 5 cm ahead of your posterior superior iliac spine. From here, it runs downwards till the upper border of your greater shattuck notch. This is the posterior gluteal line. The anterior gluteal line runs 5 cm behind your anterior superior iliac spine all the way till the middle of the upper border of the greater shattuck notch. And finally, the inferior gluteal line which runs a little above your anterior inferior iliac spine all the way till the apex of the great shattuck notch. Now, there are three regions it is divided into via these lines for the origin of your very important G muscles, gluteal muscles. The gluteus maximus arising behind the posterior gluteal line. Between the posterior and anterior gluteal line arises your gluteus medius. And finally, between the anterior and inferior gluteal line originates the gluteus minimus. This is the GM muscles. What about the RF? The RF muscles include below the inferior gluteal line, just above the acetabulum, we have a free area. So the reflected head of the rectus femoris muscle is going to be attached over here, the rectus femoris. Since the reflected head of rectus femoris has already got a position, the anterior inferior iliac spine lies close to it and is quite free for, from attachments. Hence, the anterior inferior iliac spine will accommodate the rectus femoris straight head. Apart from that, the obturator internus is going to come from the uh, sacropelvic surface, some of it, and this is the obturator internus. So that was all for the attachments of your iliac bone. Once again, you have three parts, the iliac crest, where you will learn the mnemonic sit, exit, gel muscles. Then we have an inner surface with the I, sip attachments, and outer surface with the GMRF muscles. I really hope it was easy for you to understand the attachments of ileum. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel.